I need you to help me get it. And he's like, what are you going to do with it? And I was like, I'm going to take it to the wildlife, like rehab place. And he's like, they're not going to take it. I was like, I donate money to them every single year. They're going to take my armadillo. <laughs> Absolute Radio Country. Everybody's so excited for this. Even security on the front door was excited for this. And there's a lot of stars that come through these doors. It's the multi-million selling, multi-Grammy, CMA, ACM award winning, Carrie Underwood. Hey, Hi. Carrie. How's it going? How are you feeling? Because you just arrived. Yes. I'm good. I'm good. It, when I'm moving, when I'm doing things, I'm good. It's when I sit down that the jet lag. Oh, should we do this standing up? The jet lag up? monster. No. <laughs> we, we, can, we can do aerobics while we do this. I'm talking to you. So that's, that's interesting. <laughs> so that will keep me awake. Incredible new album, Denim and Rhinestones. is out now. We love it. Um, we loved it even before we heard it because... Denim and rhinestones, it's some like instantly you've got a picture in your head, yes. you know what it's going to be. Yeah, it's what I do, you know. Um, I feel like, you know, th throughout country music, there's just this really great um, history of just that, you know. We like <laughs> yeah. our bling, we like our fringe, we like these things. Um, but also, just as a, a feeling for the album as a whole, um, there's just something nice about it. It's when you get get a picture in your head, it's like you think of denim, you think of something that's like stands the test of time and is reliable and it feels good. And then all the little sprinkles on top. Yeah. And also, <laughs> you know, it's great because, it, you know, if you're invited to a party and you're like, is this a casual party? Am I dressing up for this party? Like, if you're coming to see Carrie Underwood or you're it's, listening to yes, this album, you're like, both. I know what I'm wearing. <laughs> I know, and I, I love seeing already, like, fans have been showing up to things, like, dress the part, and I love it. And it's, like, it's become, like, a thing. It's, like, we're going to, we have our outfit for, you know, this event, um, CMA Music Fest. I know you were uh, just in Nashville for that. Yes. Like, people were just ready for it, dressed for it. And you on that stage in the stadium just absolutely bringing it home. You know, it's always interesting as a fan when, when I'm watching someone like you on that stage with, you know, 50,000 people there. Um, and somehow you still make it feel so intimate and, oh. and kind of have everybody in the in the palm of your hand. And how does it feel on the other side, like when you're up there? Because it must be too many people to kind of take in. Yeah, I mean, you know that they're back there. And mm -hmm. in that in that scenario, you can, you can still see a lot of people. You can see where they end. Um, yeah. In some like festival settings and stuff like that, you just have no idea. It's like the people just go on forever. Um, but it's, it's a lot of fun being on my end. I, I'm just, I don't, I try not to think too much about all the people that are out there looking <laughs> yeah. at me or else I feel like I'd get really self-conscious. Um, but I just, I just have fun. Uh, speaking of festivals, Glastonbury, you played. Yes. Uh, the, I think we, it was the last time you were It was actually over. today. We were looking, it came up on my memories on my phone. So it was three, three years ago today. Yeah, and we just had Glastonbury here yes. last week. I'll tell you what, that thing on your phone, the, the memories, it's a great thing slash sometimes, a, oh, has it been that long, you know, oh, when those I memories pop up. I get pictures of my kids and I'm just like, oh. Growing up so <laughs> where fast. Where did time go? <laughs> what was it like playing Glastonbury? And did you know kind of the 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 legend of Glastonbury before you did it? Definitely knew the the legend and especially, um, you know, talking about it um, with, with my people. It's just like, wow, this is, you know. I've, I've played a lot of festivals and this one's special. Um, but it was it was a lot of fun. The crowd was great. It was it was good. Janet Jackson blew me a kiss. Oh! So, yeah, she did. That's a highlight. I know, I know. I didn't think she was... I was, like, looking around to see, like, who she... Because we wanted to stay <laughs> she, and watch her play. What, me? And, yeah. Did you catch it or did you blow it back? I, I kind of froze. And <laughs> um, my friend who was with me was like, blow one back. I was like, I froze. I froze. Like, the moment's passed. And now it'd be weird if I'm just over there, like, waving at her or something. Like a weirdo. Um, <laughs> yeah, you have to make sure she's actually doing it to you. Right. It needed to happen. <laughs> In, like immediately and I just wasn't that quick or smooth I was looking around me to see who she was talking to oh see so it's know? good to know that you have those moments as well because we all have those moments where we're like oh I really messed that up oh, can I have I'm a do over I'm so awkward I'm so I'm awkward in Are you? Life. Yes. So. It's funny, isn't it? Because I think a lot of people in your position, everybody assumes like they're super outgoing and, mm -hmm. and you know, all that. But I, I, recently, I think you were talking about the fact that if it wasn't for your husband, you would just be quite happy to stay inside. Yeah, I don't I don't go places um, on my own. <laughs> <laughs> if, if it's left up to me and my devices, uh, I would I would just be 
like a little homesteader and just stay home and do nothing. Yeah. I, I shouldn't say do nothing. I'm actually very busy when I'm at home, but it's it's chores. I'm doing chores. Do you like doing chores? Cause I do. I, I quite like it. It's quite meditative, yes. I find. Um, yeah, I love to garden. We have chickens. Um, I'm always cleaning something or laundering something. I have two, two messy boys, um, and one, for some reason, likes to wardrobe change. Oh, in the middle right. of the day, okay. he'll wear three or four outfits in a day. I don't know why. Well, I wonder where he got that from, Carrie. I know, Underwood. right? I can't complain. <laughs> I shouldn't complain, but he's three. So, <laughs> right. I'm like, where, where are your pants, buddy? <laughs> what did you do with them? So. Um, I'm glad you brought up gardening, actually, because um, a listener, <laughs> Tom in Amesbury, uh, and I don't know how they knew you were coming in because we didn't tell anybody, but people find these things out. Oh, they know things. They know things. Okay. Um, he said, can you please ask Carrie about gardening because she's really good at it? I'm not really. I'm learning. Okay. I'm learning. So I, I we started it, I think, in 2019. And then um, somebody, I was gone a lot. We were on tour. Um, and somebody else kind of handled things for me. Um, and then in 2020, I was like, what else am I going to do? Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm going to get in there. So I made it uh, a mission over the last couple of years to work on things. And I've screwed up a whole lot, but it's like, I feel like I'm, I'm always learning and things are just, they get better and better. See, the next time you come in, we might have like a gardener's question time with Carrie Underwood. Yeah, we can gardener's have people, corner. you know, um, oh, I've got, I've got, you know, an insect problem on my cucumbers. Yeah, okay. How do we fix that? Yes. You know, we'll do that next time. Okay. We won't put you on the spot now. I bet it's quite different here though, as far as the things know, you can grow with. and um, yeah. yeah, the weather for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. We'll find out next time. We'll find out on next gar- time on Garden Time with Carrie Underwood <laughs> like here on it. Absolute Radio Country. I've also seen on your Instagram. I mean, your backyard is pretty much a mini safari park at this point, right? Like, so you had to get a snake out of your. We live garage. in the country. Yeah, <laughs> right, okay. we, we live we live out in the woods. Well, not woods, but in the country. But there was an armadillo involved as well. Yeah, it's so I will help anything. I'm that person that all. Like stop and help a turtle cross the road. I don't like turtles. That's the one animal I don't like. But Why? I, they freak me out. I don't like them. They're so. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know what freaks me out about them? They get so old. Like they go on for like hundreds of years. <laughs> they, they do get old. Yeah. <laughs> and like like I know life lesson. <laughs> yeah. Things get old. It, it happens. Um, no, I don't know. They just weird me out. But yeah, we had an armadillo. Um, something was clear, clearly wrong with it. It should not have been up by our house in the middle of the day. I'm like, this thing is probably rabid. I don't know. <laughs> um, I call my husband, who was on the tractor. I'm, I'm making us sound super country right now. I'm loving all this. He's on the tractor. Um, I think he was cutting hay. And uh, I I was like, hey, I, there's an armadillo up by the house. And he was like, I'll come take care of it. I knew what those words meant, and I was like, I don't want you to kill it. I need you to help me get it. And he's like, what are you going to do with it? And I was like, I'm going to take it to the wildlife like rehab place. And he's like, they're not going to take it. I was like, I donate money to them every single year. They're going to take my armadillo. <laughs> um, I'm not I'm not in any trouble. I've only taken one bird there once. They're like, oh, Lord, here I comes know, Carrie here Underwood comes. again with an armadillo. I called, and they were, they were very nice and very willing to help. Um, but I was like, I don't even know why I called you. <laughs> like, click, hang up. I called my dad. And I was like, can an armadillo bite me? And he said, no. I've never, I've, I've seen them, but yeah, who has same. to mess with one? He was like, no. I said, can it hurt me? And he, he was like, well, they have claws, but I don't really know if they use them to, like, hurt. But he might, like, latch onto you or something. And I was like, if I grab it from behind, is it going to be okay? <laughs> Am I going to be okay? And he was like, should be. And he's like, but they're real gross. And I was like, I know, I know. So I got gloves and got it out. It it sadly did not make it. Oh. I think it had some head trauma. Um, I, don't I thought know you were going to say it's now called Janice no. and it has a denim and rhinestone jacket no. and lives in the den. <laughs> no, I named him Pickles. Oh, Pickle. Yeah. I mean, we have so, when you come back, not only gardening hour, but we're doing wildlife <laughs> safari time. I'm sure I'll have more, <laughs> more uh, um, things to, more te- tales to tell. <laughs> From Carrie Underwood. Yes. We love you here in the UK. And um, obviously, you know, you're a global superstar. And was that always kind of part of the plan? Was there a plan or was it kind of like the awards and numbers where you're like, I'm just going to do my thing and see what shakes out of this tree? Yeah, I think the latter. I, <laughs> I think, um, you know, it, it's definitely 
feel like there's been more of a swell over the since I've definitely been um, a part of this. I feel like there's been more of a push to kind of take country music um, outside of the U.S. more, yeah. which is really cool to watch. And you know, now just with tech technology it's just easier than ever to find yeah, everybody can access and, it quite right. quickly yeah um which is probably the biggest contributing factor um but it's it's been a lot of fun to be able to come over and you know meet meet people and play fun festivals and um do some concerts and things so i think the last time you were over uh, we talked about glastonbury and, and i think that was cry pretty yes. um so any plans and anything that we can let the people in on that you'll come back for a proper tour or anything in the in i mean books? i don't have any bombshells to be dropping today but oh. that's all that's all exclusive case, no bombshells <laughs> no to be dropped bombshells. by carrie underwood today that would be great um because the the fans here have always been really great to me so hopefully we can come back it'll happen i'm sure properly <laughs> i think for, i think the biggest part of it um in like planning everything out for this album was just not really having an idea where the world was going to be you know yeah, of course so it's like when we were making this album and writing for it and recording and stuff it was like well let's let's write songs that like i want to i want there to be a tour but at the time we just didn't know if that was going to happen or be possible or whatever sure. so we tried to write music that would work well in a tour setting um because i was like i feel like hopefully maybe fingers crossed but definitely kind of leaves a lot of things up in the air when you can't really firmly plan everything the way you want to although las vegas you had you had two las vegas residencies right it's kind of a which is a big old show did yes thing so we'll be back we're we're taking a little bit of a hiatus to go on tour um but we'll be back next year so it's it's um, it's a lot of fun. Those must be because I went after CMA Fest. I went to Vegas for an Elvis wedding. Oh, nice! Um, right. And I uh, saw Luke Bryan while I was there, and I think it's the same theater. Yes, it is. But my show's which... better than him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but kidding. I was gutted that you weren't there. So I mean, it just must be because you can literally just throw it all at that show. Oh right? yeah, I mean, there's there's a there's so many great things, obviously, about like going on a traditional tour, um, arena tour, but. You know, being in a theater, you're in one place, um, you can kind of do some things like all, we don't have to pack up everything after every show, so we can kind of do some bigger things that, you know, can live there at yeah. the theater. Um, we have like some aerialists and things like that because we wanted to make fire. it. Fire. Yes. Fire, water, everything. All flying. of it. And do you like Vegas as a city? Because it's so crazy, isn't I it, I do. I do. But we don't do what most people do when they come to Vegas. <laughs> yeah, you're not uh, sitting in front of a slot machine. Right, right. <laughs> well, we, we're not, like, partying, you know. Mm. Um, but we, it's just wonderful restaurants and um, obviously lots of shows to see. And uh, I'm when I go, I'm away from my family for a couple weeks, so we usually just try to work as much so as possible. So do they not come with you? They might come, like, at the end and then fly home with me just for a few days, but it's a lot. Yeah, of course. When, yeah. when your kids are little, I mean, it's a different kind of challenge we went on the cry pretty tour when my youngest son was three months old so that's oh when we started touring wow um so that was like its own challenges but they're so much more portable and now that like my oldest son's seven and he's like what do we do like he can't sit in a he can't be content in a hotel room right like he was when he was you know, and one of them like needs multiple costume changes he does. every day so, so that's a lot of packing like wardrobe no. <laughs> um so carrie i took one of these online quizzes where it was like you know you're bored you're passing time you're in the you're you're in an airport lobby or whatever you're waiting for your flight and uh up popped Take this personality quiz to find out which female country superstar you are. Okay. Can you guess who I am? I don't know. I'm Carrie Underwood. Well, okay. Thank you. I was very pleased with that. So, I what, thought, what did you say well, to make you <laughs> be me? <laughs> let's take the test, shall oh, we? Let's and do we can it. find out if okay. you are who if you I've say me? you are. Okay. Okay. So, to find out which female country superstar you are, First question, what's your favorite thing to drink? Is it a soft drink? Is it wine? Is it tea or coffee? Wine. Okay. How would your friends describe you? Chill, kind, or funny? Chill. I wish you... it was kind. <laughs> it's probably chill. Well, we just have to go with what we are, <laughs> don't we? Um, which art do you prefer? Modern art, abstract art, or classic art? Classic? You're a classic kind of girl. I think. All right. Of these hobbies, which do you prefer, dancing, writing, or shopping? Writing. 
Do you prefer a sea view, a country view, or a city view? Country view. Which of these would be your favorite color? Mm. Purple, orange, or blue? Blue. And finally, your favorite instrument, guitar, saxophone, or piano? Guitar. You are. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Who am I? You're Marin Morris. <laughs> You're cool, you're popular, and you're sweet. Well, okay. <laughs> so you're, if you're just joining us, this is Absolute Radio Country. I'm Carrie Underwood. We're here with Marin Morris. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I, Carrie. No, I, 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 what, what, what makes you me, though? What makes somebody be me? Well, that's the eternal question we're asking ourselves every day, isn't it? You know, they what like is a, life? They like an ocean view, How an do you save an armadillo? Art? Which yeah. country superstar am I? Um, I? Do you know, I was really wishing that that would have came up and you were Carrie Underwood. Because then we would have known that that was scientific. <laughs> Something you can't believe everything you read. Okay, that's uh, so many life lessons life with you lessons. today, Carrie. P things get old, that's what I'm here for. and you can't believe everything that you read. Yes. Um, Denim and Rhinestones is the album from our guest Carrie Underwood here on Absolute Radio Country. Thank you for Thank coming you. in to see Thank us. Thank you for having me. Uh, we've been playing um, Ghost Story, obviously, but we can play something else. Play Denim and Rhinestones. Let's do it. Okay, thanks, Carrie. Thank you.